Well, welcome to uh, another review. I'm not doing a tobacco review today. Damn flies. Um, I'm not doing a tobacco review. I've decided I'm going to have a ton of them for you. Uh, I spoke with John Schoen from um, Sutliff, and uh, I've joined up to with them to produce a bunch of uh, reviews on their tobaccos. So you'll be seeing those. Uh, I'll probably get my the first couple of tobaccos uh, early this week. So look forward to seeing a review of every single tobacco that they send me. They send me 100 tobaccos, guess what? You're going to have to watch 100 reviews. <laughs> but uh, since I mentioned that I'm doing channel changes, my favorite channel of all, my favorite person to watch on all of YouTube is Joffrey, a.k.a. Joffrey the Giant, and his other channel, which was just Joffrey Sweet. I know it's an older... An older channel, and there's not a whole lot that gets uploaded on there. Um, you know, he posted something very briefly, I think, the other day. And I don't know if he meant it to post it there or not, but uh, I follow him religiously. I've just started reading his blog because, like an idiot, I don't pay attention well enough to remember that, uh, or I don't remember well enough to uh, to check out his blog. So I started reading that. But Joffrey is my all-time favorite person to watch on YouTube. I'm sorry, everybody. But you have to. Sometimes you have to play favorites. And one of his, one of the things that I've seen him do is beer reviews. So I decided to jump on, on the train. And for my first review, we're going to do a seasonal beer from right here in New Jersey. I'm not that proud of New Jersey. Don't take that wrong. But I figured I might as well start in the home state. So um, we were at the store. We went to Wegmans, Jessica and I, and she was picking out some stuff for her. And I said, which one should I get? And she picked this one because she liked the design on it which is that neat little hippo jack-o'-lantern. And this is River Horse in Hippo Lantern Imperial Pumpkin. Uh, this one's made in Lambertville, New Jersey. Uh, you're looking at an 8.1% alcohol, which is uh, pretty decent for a brew like this. Um, and a little blurb on the back, you got, we've covered our bases on this one. It appeals to fans of pumpkin beer and converts those that didn't know that they were fans. A bunch of ingredients, but none are showboating. After all, nobody likes a show-off. Enjoy. Uh, this one, it says, uh, ale brewed with pumpkin puree and spices. And I can tell you, uh, I've, had, um, I've had some time to enjoy it and really get, uh, get a taste for it. And I can tell you right off the bat, when you're cracking these open... Uh, nice and ice cold, you can get really big hits of pumpkin. You get more pumpkin than you do any of the spices that they toss in there. But I can tell you that it, it is, it's not overwhelming, but it is a strong enough smell for you to get. Uh, as you can see here, it is a nice, rich amber. A uh, little orange-red, as you can see. Very sticky. Good amount of sugar in this blend. Absolutely beautiful. You can get the pumpkin scent uh, as you're sniffing at it. Good thing I trimmed my mustache today. You can still smell a little bit of the spices. You get pumpkin and um, almost like a baked apple smell. If you haven't ever made pumpkin pie in your house, uh, pumpkin pie, apple pie in your house, or baked apples or anything like that, you might not get exactly what I what I mean scent wise. But if you've ever done anything like that or smelled someone making an apple pie, you get a little bit of that when you're when you're smelling this. Uh, flavor wise, it is rich. And spicy. The pumpkin is not the dominant flavor by any means. The ale I, f I find is the is the dominant flavor here. The pumpkin plays a nice background note, but I'm also tasting a little bit of caramel. I guess that's uh, where that baked apple comes into it. That baked apple smell. A little bit of caramel. Definitely nutmeg. I'm thinking most likely. It's a pumpkin beer. Nutmeg would be the only thing I could think that would make sense with a with a pumpkin beer. It is, mm, it is sweet. It is very nice. It's it's perfect. I find that it, as you kind of super ice cold, it tastes wonderful. As it starts to warm up a little bit, when it's 
maybe four or five degrees warmer than ice cold, whatever ice cold is to you. Uh, when it starts getting closer to room temperature and that glass is really sweating, that's when the flavors really start to shine here. Yeah, it mellows out a little bit more too, which I really like about it. On the back end, it is a little bit hoppy, but not so much so that uh, it makes it unpleasant. And I find that enjoyable about this beer. Now, I've only I've only had uh, this will probably be maybe the third or fourth uh, bottle of this beer, but I can I can tell you for sure that this would be something that would um, I think would work very well for like a warmed a warm spiced beer. This one's very has a lot of spices in it already, and I think uh, letting it sit and mull a little bit would probably make it even better. So if you're into the warm spiced beer, this might be a, a good place to start. So if you can get this uh, down wherever you are, I suggest you try it. So um, on a scale of one to ten, well, let's put it this way: flavor-wise, very uh, pretty robust. Uh, I would say absolutely perfect as well as far as balance goes sweet sour uh, bitter hoppy I think it works out perfectly it is a very a naturally sweet blend like I said as you can see it's it's very very sweet but on a scale of 10 I would say this would have to be for me a solid 7 um, seasonal beers do not peak very high with me because they're only available seasonally and I'm not one to stock up on 20 cases of the same beer just so I can have some throughout the year and of course they would work best on the right kind of evening so a cooler evening would be perfect for this kind of beer if you're around the campfire that would be perfect too so, uh, would I buy it again? absolutely do I suggest you give it a try? if it's buy, if you have it in your local liquor store or um, you know craft beer section jump on it it's definitely worth a try so um, thanks for sticking around guys I hope you guys are enjoying the weekend so far and I'll see you the, over the next couple days with uh, another review another beer review uh, on Pump King by Southern Tier and uh, stay tuned because I'll be doing a bunch of Sutliff reviews too uh, enjoy the rest of the weekend guys